Should we breathe in through the nose or the mouth? Mouth. And when we breathe in through the mouth, do we use our shoulders? Jan Richter is a singing teacher, and this is Vico Sega's first individual lesson. Jana wants him to smile while he's singing. He's in the children's chorus of the Berlin Opera Company Komische Oper. Once they're over eight, the young singers are given individual coaching. After his private lesson, Vigo takes me to where the other kids are. Christoph Rosini, director of the children's studio, is rehearsing them for a production of La Boheme. The chorus plays an important role in the Puccini opera. After the rehearsal, I meet up with nine-year-old Yolande Reschberger and her mother. Yolande sings and plays the violin. Today she's being upgraded to a bigger instrument. Yolande practices every day and has choir rehearsal twice a week. I ask her how she got involved. She tells me a friend of her mother's is a costume designer at the Komische Oper. She designed the costumes for a production of Pinocchio. When Yolanda went along, she was delighted by what she saw. Yes. Yolanda can read music thanks to her violin lessons, and that helped a lot with her singing audition. Her mother is a school choir leader, and Yolanda has grown up immersed in music. The next day I meet Vico again. He's been learning the piano for three years. They've got their first performance of La Boheme for weeks. I ask Vico if he's nervous. He tells me he does get butterflies if he has about five friends in the audience, but 10,000 strangers present no problem at all. 10,000 people don't fit into the Komische Oper all at once, but 1,000 do. Vico and his friend David set off for the theater. They need it for an afternoon rehearsal. Christoph Rosini has called the extra rehearsal of the children's chorus. He wants their scene to be livelier. The assistant director is there too. I'm astonished at how the kids can jump around and sing so well at the same time. I would be completely out of breath after a few moments. A few last directions. The curtain goes up in three quarters of an hour. Christoph Rosini was pleased with the rehearsal. He tells me that it's really important that the kids in an opera children's chorus have fun performing and learning about their own potential. He wants to extend them beyond what they think are their own limitations so that they can rise to the challenges of performing opera. I meet up with Vico again in the dressing room. He shows me his costume and the place where he sits. It has his name on it. Yolanda is there too. I ask how she got on with the new violin. She tells me it's a bit trickier, but she'll get used to it. 
Okay, ihr wolltet mir mal die Bühne zeigen. Then they take me off to see the stage. Das sind die Tische. They show me where the stage furniture and props are kept backstage. The food is all made of rubber and plastic, not very tasty. And there's the magic white line that must not be crossed unless you're going on stage. Vico says that if you step over it, you can see the audience at the back of the auditorium, which means they might be able to see you too. Just a few minutes later and the stage is out of bounds because they're spreading artificial snow. In the girls' dressing room, Yolanda is almost ready. There's just her hair to be done. The girls can help decide how their hair should be styled. Yolanda asks me to comb out the tangles. The makeup staff have their hands full. The adult choir has priority and at first Yolanda can't get a place. But finally her turn comes. She asks to have her hair done in plaits. Those in the first scene are called to go on stage. The makeup artist is unflappable and Yolanda too remains very calm. Yolanda is ready just in time. She rushes off to the vocal warm up in the rehearsal room. Just six minutes to go. Vico hopes he'll soon get to sing a solo. Christoph Rosini rehearses the kids one more time. Yolanda and the others hit the notes just right and with excellent timing. One boy is kept back. He's called Tiba and today he gets to sing a solo. The choir leader asks me to stand in as his mother. Finally, their moment comes. The red light means the performance has begun. Those waiting in the wings must be very quiet. It's dark, hot and crowded. From here, the kids can't see the orchestra pit where the conductor is standing. Their cue comes via monitor. I have to stay behind the white line, which means I can't see much at all. I'm amazed at how the assistant in charge of the children keeps them under control. Just five minutes on stage, then it's all over. In La Bohème, the children have only a brief role. It's late, but Vico doesn't seem the least bit tired. Performing gives him a real kick. He's already dreaming of the next opera. Maybe he'll get a solo. I thought the children's choir was great. I'll be back to see more.